guys are going for glory. No way! He's seller! Very cautiously wins! Oh my god! Wow! With a pick on the Galaxies, can he finish it off with a 3D1? Mr. Wobbles goes, come on, he does it! Let's go, Mr. Wobbles, finishing it off for Oracle. And that's how you do it. And they stop it at 5 for 5! Holy smokes, what a game! Lipinski gets another. Oh no! He knocks him! But he's took down Jose. Can he do it in time? Three seconds left. He got him on low. He didn't do it. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. If you did not join us in the previous match, we are here for the VREL Season 1 Pavlov Semifinals. And this match is going to be Virtual Assassins versus Downfall. A little earlier, we saw Solstice take on GDSH Appreciation Society, and Solstice took both two rounds very, very handily. And so they are going to go on to the finals and... Uh, and they're going to compete against whoever wins this match, right? So right now, Virtual Assassins and Downfall are going to be taking on, taking them, taking each other on for this semifinals. And I am just now, as we are gathering here for this match, I'm waiting for Slay Exodus to give me some information about the bans for this match. So which maps they are banning, and then of course which map they're going to pick for the first round. And while I wait for that. Let me tell you all, one more time, if you weren't here for it in our last match, something about our Echo Arena Finals. We have the pleasure to be hosting our Echo Arena Finals in the Vertex Stadium, which is a virtual stadium where they have been able to take the data from Echo Arena, the game, and project it into an arena space where they actually have the, the physical Echo Arena space projected into their arena, placed into their arena, and you can get the data from the players playing the game and watch them playing it in front of you. It's like you're in a basketball arena or in a hockey arena. And so we're hosting our Echo Finals in that stadium. I'm going to play the, the, the trailer for that right now, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about the details. All right, so as you saw in that trailer, it's like you can, you uh, you use your Oculus device, so your Quest, or if you have um, uh, a Rift, or if you, even if you don't have an Oculus device, you can run it in desktop mode through Oculus. With this program, you create yourself an avatar, you get yourself into this virtual stadium, and then that virtual stadium connects to the game that's being streamed by a caster, let's say. And then you get into that stadium, you sit in your row in your seat. You got spectators all around you. Those are also other people who are connected to that stadium watching that game. And you can hear them talking. 
And then you have the, the game happening right in front of you. The echo game happening right in front of you. And then you have the cast happening on the big screen right behind it. And it is a really cool experience. If you aren't into Echo Arena, I would still recommend checking this out. Uh, because it is just a crazy esports experience in general. Like, this is the only way that I've, that I've seen so far of actually being in the presence of the esport being played. And it's a really cool experience if you haven't had a chance to see it already. So, check out that website, vertexstadium.com, and get the instructions on how to get in there, into the game, into the beta test, and all that. We're going to be hosting our Echo Arena Finals next week, Saturday the 28th, from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. Look out for the announcements in our Discord if you want to get into it. I highly recommend it. Even if you're not into Echo Arena, just to experience this stadium, it's pretty crazy. All right, that's my spiel about our partnership with Vertex and Echo Arena. Let me see. Let me just check in with Slay to see what's going on. And then um, we shall see what's happening. Good morning, VR Beast. How are you this morning? All right, things are looking good. Hunky dory. I'm just want to make sure I am not missing the match like we did last time. All right. So I'm still waiting for this round to start for the lobby to open up. While I wait, I'm going to show some promotional videos from our sponsors. Right. Those were our, a couple of our sponsors, Mammoth and G Fuel. And so if you know, you know that we are watching the semifinals right now. The winners of today's matches are going to go off to face off in the finals. And for those finals, first place are going to be getting those Mammoth Apto 3 Wasps. Five of them to be exact. And those are some really cool, highly customizable gun stocks from Mammoth VR. And then we've got for a second place, in addition to five of those G Fuel gift boxes, we've got Bobo VR head straps with the batteries. Third place is getting these nine line apparel jerseys with VREL and all that good stuff on it. And then they're getting those five headset decals from Degenerate Decals. We are very grateful for our sponsors for providing us the prizes for not only this league, our Pavlov League, but for Contractors, for Onward, for Echo Arena, and for Population One. All right, I'm getting, I am getting some messages from Slay. They have banned. Overpass and Stockpile. All right, Overpass and Stockpile have been banned, y'all. What does that mean? That means left to be chosen for these maps are Dust 2, Manor, Cash, Oil Rig, um, Mirage. Right? Yes. So we shall see what the first map to be chosen will sh shall be. And while we wait for all that to be hashed out, I'm just going to play some uh, some game footage instead of having to look at my face the entire time, all right? So, see you in a second. Raid coming out of CT spawn. Boar coming out of connector here. And Jvar Boar are going to be taking over A-side here. Except Andy Bojangles had something to say about it. And Boar was just trying to do the defuse, but Andy Bojangles cleaning up with that... Tech 9. 
corners here. Beautiful headshot there by Aceon. Super solid grinder, but then Kumbercraft able to get Jess Jamie. It is 1v2 here, and Aceon is trapped in the corner. No, Aceon running out now. Not. Oh. What? Oh. What? Jess Jamie? Here? What? The knife throw from Aceon! Somebody clip that, please! Exclamation point clip! What did I just witness? And the headshot from Aesnia taking down Quimbercraft for the win! What a play! As Beast was able to flank around Kaze there and take him down, Boar is, Boar is just hanging out in this. He's doing it again! Yes! He did it! He did it! Alright, all of you in chat, whoever sees that, please exclamation point clip. We need that clip of that clip. Boar actually pulled it off, y'all. He did it in the smoke. Kiwi is making his way into the point. So is Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve's gonna start to plant. Here comes Boar. He's got the clippers. He got the knife kill. And then the clippers. Oh my gosh. Somebody. When you see that, please somebody put exclamation point clip in the chat because that is amazing. I cannot believe he just did that. Getting the knife kill and then clipping the board. He, making a little bit of noise down the middle. Pulling out fire from just Jamie and Window. And everyone is now pushing me. Mike VR is already there. And you can see the movement by Narco West as they figure out what the hell is going on. Now Mike VR coming out of fire. And getting taken down by all of the members of, of Solstice. Limit Break also tried to make a stand, but it was 3v1 again. Just Jamie, Skywalker, Timothy pushing his position. But there you can see the nice shooting there by Leo. And that is a 2v1 situation. And Dead Pixel doing exactly that with the beautiful flank there. Kaze is back turned to Beast. Dead Pixel also has his back turned to Beast. Dead Pixel providing cover there, but Beast took down Kaze. Can he do it in time? Three seconds left. He, oh, no, he didn't do it. Oh, he almost had it. He almost had it. Wow, it came down to the wire there. My goodness, that was close. What a pistol round. Numbers and two picks apart. Now we see Skywalker here and Just Jamie. Watching the house as Scuba Steve tries to make it through here. A lot of free firing happening here. Oh no! No! <laughs> Somebody put exclamation point clip and clip that, please. Exclamation. Yes! Are they still going? Yes, they're still going. Alright. With a grenade, takes down Dead Pixel. A beautiful bank shot by Snoopinator. Look at this Magic Queen. It's going to be 1v1 here on the point. Magic Queen not in a good position. He's going to come around this corner here. That Dead Pixel can hold this angle on the bomb. Here comes the push by Magic Queen. And the headshot. And we see a repeat. And not a, lot, not a whole lot of time for Magic Queen to go shopping. Just enough time for him to punch in that code and defuse that bomb. There it is. Look at him, look at him. He's got a frag in one hand, the AK in the other. He's crouched in there. He's all alone. Jay is not doing anything. Jay is, Jay is waiting for somebody who's not coming. Do they know the bomb is planted? Yes, there we go. There they go. He's made it out. There's the grenade. Did he get in time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
left here. And it is dead pixel and he is way out of position. And so all of these spindles are gonna go to A site. Liza Schlander and the unnamed player moving to mid to watch the approaches from B site. And Beast is gonna plant the bomb. This is gonna be another round win here for the expendables. sneak out because Snoopinator just passed him. Oh my god. If Boar can run through there and get the clip. No! He got, no, he didn't get any of the wires. <laughs> he, didn't, he tried it, but he didn't do it. Somebody please exclamation point clip that because I want that clip. In the chat. Exclamation point clip. Skylark started over, but no got him with the headshot. Right. Well, that was some fun footage, and we are still waiting for the server for Slay and the rest of uh, Downfall and Virtual Assassins to get into this round. I did not expect to be going through the, all of those clips this entire time, but here we are. We are still waiting for that server to connect and for the map to load in to Mirage, or I'm sorry, Manor, excuse me. Uh, in the meantime, Slay has informed me that, that they have chosen Manor for this first round, but they are waiting. They are waiting for that to load in. And here we are. We are waiting. And I wait. Slay waits. Everyone waits. How you doing out there in chat? Welcome to this second match of this semifinals doubleheader. Earlier today, we saw Solstice take on GDSH Appreciation Society. And Solstice was looking mighty strong. They won both rounds. First one was in Stockpile. The second one was in Oil Rig. And GDSH is going to go on to the third place match. I believe. No. Yes, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> uh... Dead Pixel says, need patience for Pavlov servers. Yes, this is what I have learned in my time of casting Pavlov. And uh, so, yes, Solstice has moved on to the final round. And um, whoever wins this round, whoever wins this match between Virtual Assassins and Downfall will go on to face them in the finals. And take look, look for those big prizes, right? And those prizes, again, are for first place. It's the Mammoth VR, Apto 3 Wasps, five of them. 
And for second place, we've got the Bobo VR head straps with the batteries with a five uh, box G Fuel gift set, five G Fuel gift boxes. And then for third place, we got these uh, jerseys courtesy of 99 Apparel and five decals for the headsets from Degenerate Decals. And wow, that lobby is, is it coming up? No, that is a different lobby. That is not the lobby I am looking for. <laughs> Someone is playing sand right now in competitive, but it is not, <laughs> it is not our lobby. So we cal shall continue to wait for this lobby to show up. And in the meantime, I'll show some ads. How about that? Right, and we just got the word from whoa my goodness we just got the word from slay that they are in there we are let's get in it mason mason the chef welcome winter 28 winner 2807 also says slay is their crush that is all right. Here we are, the pistol round in manner here. As we see, who is that? Mime explosion in yellow hat. Yellow hat going for a site. Let me make sure I have all of these correct here. Slay is on the right. That means that is right. I have my names correct. Yes, so four. Oh my goodness, it's round. This round is over already. Here we go. Let us see here for downfall. We have Mime, Yellow Hat, Kraken Krieger, Kraken Krieger, Explosion, and Slay Exodus. And for Virtual Assassins, we've got Dawn, Comet, Echo, Nuki, and Ninja Kex. And here we go, folks. We are starting right now with a 1 to 0 lead for Virtual Assassins as um, Downfall are on the attack. And in they go through the house. Here comes Slay Exodus and Kraken Krieger. As someone is fighting off, it's Yellow Hat that's doing some fighting over at B site with his Deagle. Let's go see what's going on with Yellow Hat. No? Yeah, he was poking at B site. Now he's going back into the house to f to link up with Kraken. And we also got Lyman Explosion on the balcony. They're watching T spawn for any flankers. I think Dawn is trying to pick somebody here. He's got the line on somebody. No, he's trying to just shoot through the walls here. As Virtual Assassins are guessing correctly that all of Downfall are in the house. Yellow Hat finally picking his way out here, going up the stairs, trying to pick Nuki here. And yes, he does get Nuki from behind. In the meantime, Dawn gets the double kill there on Explosion and Mime, taking down two more members of Downfall. So it is two to it is three to five for three to four, excuse me, right now is Kraken, Krieger, and Slay Exodus. Trying to move out of the house, but Comet takes them both down, and we are now down to Yellow Hat alone. Let us see. Ew, Yellow Hat getting taken down from Comet there through the house. And now it is two to zero for Virtual Assassin. Somebody please correct me if I'm wrong. Is that the same Yellow Hat from Vortex? Has Yellow Hat switched from Team Vortex to Downfall? Is that what I'm seeing here? The very famous Vortex. All right, so there goes Slay Exodus. And uh, uh, who else? Somebody else from its Explosion from Downfall going into the house. Mime also, Kraken Krieger and Yellow Hat looking at the stairs towards A-Site. 
as Nuki and Don throw some frags for a good measure towards that entrance. And it is a bit of a standoff right here. Neither team has pushed. Virtual Assassins very well set up for their defenses. Explosion and Slay Exodus moving, making moves into the house. Meanwhile, Mime, Kraken Krieger are sneaking, sneaking into the entrance of A-Site here. And now we see some engagements as Yellow Hat picks Dawn. And now the push of Downfall into A-Site. Nuki with the frag grenade trying to slow that push down. Mime getting picked. And now Nuki making that call out. Are the rest of Virtual Assassins going to rotate here through the mid? Yes, we see Ninja Kex trying to catch an angle there. In the meantime, no Nuki and Comet both getting kills. And that is going to leave Explosion here all alone at A-Site. With Yellow Hat getting the shots across from the balcony of the manor. But it is still 2v3 as the rest of De uh, Virtual Assassins are rotating to A-Site. And are they going to set up here? Comet takes down Yellow Hat. Explosion takes down Comet. Now it is Explosion versus Ninja Kex and Echo. And Ninja Kex catches Explosion just as he runs into A-Site. And that is going to end that push right there for a 3-win round now for uh, Virtual Assassins. Comet on top for 6 and 2. 12 points for Virtual Assassins. Yellow Hat on top for Downfall. 3 and 3, 7 points. Winner says 2807. That is indeed the Yellow Hat from Vortex. All right, great to see Yellow Hat here at VREL playing with Downfall. And here we have Downfall in the house. Literally in the house. Pushing their way up through the middle of the map. Which way shall they try and get out and push to? I'm sure they're going to fight their way to A or B site. But which way will they go? Out go the frags towards A site. And the push to A site from Slay and Explosion with Yellow Hat and Krieger in the back. No, I'm sorry, that's B site. I got turned around. That's B-Site. Explosion. Getting towards Ninja Kex there. Echo is going to be overrun here by Yellow Hat. Yes, that has happened. And there goes Kraken Krieger all the way to the bomb plant site. Yellow Hat putting in the code as he runs. Mime able to get Dawn as he tried to rotate. Here comes Nuki all alone now. 1v3. Two members of Downfall on the, plant, on the bomb point here. And Nuki taking both Krieger, Kraken Krieger and Yellow Hat. Clearing the site, but no, it's Mime that rotates through the middle and takes him down before he could go and punch in that code. And that is a win for Downfall. Look at those points right there. Yellow Hat, 4 and 4, 10 points. Explosion, 3 and 4, 8 points. Mime, 2 and 3, 6 points. And for Virtual Assassins, we've got Nuki on top, 5 and 3, 15 points. But it is Comet with the kills, 6 and 3, 13 points. Dawn, 3 and 2. So the, the house strat... Hanging out in the house has been working out so far for one round at least for downfall as we see Slay Exodus, Explosion, and Mime doing it one more time while Yellow Hat and Kraken Krieger peek their way into B site. Are they going to make some poking here? Let's see what is happening in the house here. Uh oh, okay, that's Explosion. I thought that was a member of Virtual Assassins there. That would have been bad. Explosion going out into towards A site now to take on Nuki. Meanwhile, Mime coming out of the side door there. Mime not yet visible by anybody. Now finally coming out of the side door towards A site. Dawn not in a position to see him yet. Dawn moving towards B site. As that is where the fight is happening. And we see Nuki as well. And the trade between Nuki... And Mime, and here comes the fight at B-Site. It is now down to a 2-2 two two with all of that all of that fighting that's going to happen. And Echo takes down Kraken Krieger, so it is explosion all alone between uh, against Echo and Ninja Kex. And he is pinned right now. Explosion, throwing out a flash. That one was a bit far. But it did do some damage to Ninja Kex. Explosion is very heavily damaged right now. And then Virtual Assassin's playing at this right. They don't have to push at all. They can just wait. Explosion continuing to re-peak. Meanwhile, Ninja Kex is not having any of it. He's just chilling. Meanwhile, Echo is also hanging back. And that is the end of the round. So there you can see Virtual Assassin's playing it very calm and patiently, knowing that they don't have to push the position 
uh, and give up any kills and any weapons. They can continue to keep their utilities and all that good stuff. So we are a 4 to 1 now for Virtual Assassins. As we see, again, downfall moving into the house. Yellow Hat hanging back at T spawn. Explosion. Found Comet there. And the push to B. Here they come. Mime, Ninja Kex, Slay Exodus, Explosion. Down goes Mime. Dawn also taking down Slay. Now the rotate towards B site. Echo alone versus Kraken Creeker and Yellow Hat. The beautiful grenade positioning there by Echo. Stops that push in its tracks and Echo gets the double kill. And now it is Explosion versus three members of Virtual Assassins and he is surrounded. And Echo is going to clean that up right there. Very efficient play by Virtual Assassins. As we see, the preparations by Virtual Assassins. Let us see where Downfall are going to be going this time. Now the aggression to A site. No, Yellow Hat deciding instead to move up towards the middle house with Explosion and Slay. And here they come. Which way are they going to go? There are shots coming in here through the walls. As Virtual Assassins have expected now. For downfall to be going through the house. Oh, Nuki getting shot in the face right there from... I mean, mine getting shot in the face from, from Nuki. And you see Nuki pulling back now. As he calls the position of downfall to his teammates and that grenade... That is a smoke grenade. That landed right at the feet of Kraken Krieger. If that was a frag, that would have done some heavy damage there. But Explosion pushing out of the house. Now rotating towards A site, but Ninja Kex puts a stop to that. And we can see the skirmish is happening around the map now as Echo moves towards B site. Yellow Hat in the house. Slay Exodus coming through the, the garden. Ninja Kex spots him as Kraken Krieger pushes into A site and takes down Nuki. Now Ninja Kex must turn around and watch that entrance. Echo clearing out Yellow Hat. Now can move towards Slay Exodus. Takes him down as well. When we see Kraken Krieger alone and with a member of Virtual Assassins on either side of him. As he engages Echo there, Virt Ninja Kex can move in and take him from the side. Yes, he does. Great positioning, great game sense, and communication by Virtual Assassins to know where to be, where to look, where to shoot at exactly the right time. And they were able to stop that push by Downfall very effectively. And here we go again. Where will Downfall go this time? The pushes through the house have not been so successful. And you see Yellow Hat Explosion going there again as the grenades now go to the A site. Nuki is alone with Dawn. Beautiful frag by Dawn Light. The feet of Mime also does heavy damage to Slay Exodus. Yellow Hat trying to get shots across on Dawn, but Dawn returns fire and Nuki gets the kill. So Slay and Kraken have been halted at the entrance to A-Site. Explosion coming out of the house now, shooting at someone who should have been there. Nuki there getting some damage again on Slay Exodus. And now the push from Downfall has been halted again, allowing Virtual Assassins to rotate all towards A-Site here. And the pressure is being put on to Downfall. Slay Exodus and Kraken deciding to rotate back to B-Site, it seems. They have 50 seconds to do it in. Can they make it over there? Don is watching the middle. Ninja Kex and Nuki still looking at that exit from the house. So they could sneak by there. Don catching wind of that grenade and so is Ninja Kex. Explosion taking advantage of the rotate. But Ninja Kex was able to clear that out. And so here comes the bomb plant. Echo is here. The flash. The push by Echo. And the trade. So that's going to leave the bomb running. And here comes Ninja Kex. Plenty of time to get over here, collect some weapons. Nuki has some clippers. So if Nuki gets here first, that's going to be a quick defuse. Who's it going to be? Ninja Kex putting in the code. Nuki picking up weapons. 20 seconds, plenty of time. And there you have it. And we are at 7 to 1.
four virtual assassins. Echo, 12 and 2, 26 points. Downfall, not able to find a route that has been working for them to find a hole in the defenses of virtual assassins right now. As Yellow Hat takes the bomb and takes it into the house again to go with Explosion and Slay. Meanwhile, Kraken and Mime hanging out at the entrance to B site. It looks like a push to B here. That grenade took down Slay Exodus's health to more than half. And there's the push right now. Virtual Assassins know what's happening right here. Echo is in position. Ninja Kex is in position. And Comet is rotating in. And right now, Downfall are confined into one corridor. And we're just walking into gunfire there. And you can see them getting picked apart one by one as they came out and tried to find a position to shoot from. Echo getting a lot of kills there. 15 and 2 right now for 32 points with for Virtual Assassins. And we are switching sides here with Virtual Assassins in the lead with 8 points right now already. And so they just need to defend twice and they will have won this map. And I have to say I forgot to put in the prediction. So we'll do that next round. And now you see the push by downfall to A site. Oh, I'm sorry, by um, by virtual assassins. Excuse me. Yellow Hat is there. He saw it. He's calling it out. Nuki getting the headshot on Kraken with the with the Glock there. And the plant for Dawn. And virtual assassins are all over A site right now. They are watching the entrances. Yellow Hat with a good push there takes down Dawn. Comet hiding in the mausoleum. Comet able to take down Yellow Hat. Echo taking down Explosion. Comet is surrounded. Now it is Slay and Echo. Cat and Mouse. Slay versus Echo. Here they come. The headshot from Echo is going to take down Slay Exodus. And that is going to be a Rin for Virtual Assassins in that pistol round. 18 and 2 for Echo. Echo is just persisting. He is on a crazy run right now. And we are just down to one more round. And if that... If, uh, if Virtual Assassins can do it with the aggression again. There they go. Into the house. Here they come. All five of them. Running up the stairwell. Comet peeling off to go into the side. Exit off of the first floor. Ooh, I don't know who threw that grenade there. Where that was. But they are moving very slowly now into the mid here. Where will they emerge from? Into B site here. Yellow Hat moving through T-Spawn. And Mime is watching that door right now. And so is Kraken Krager. And Kraken Krager goes down to the push. Nuki, Echo, Ninja Kex fl flying out the door. Here comes Yellow Hat with the flank. Ninja Kex is not going to see this. Down goes Ninja Kex. Dawn is going to see him. Dawn goes down too. Nuki rotating back here. Gets the headshot on Yellow Hat. And now it is a 2v3 situation right now. Mime is in the position to protect the bomb site. Slay Exodus watching for someone's head. Does not quite get Comet there. And Mime is left to deal with the push of Comet and Nuki. And that is the end of that, folks. All right. There you have it. And so what is going to happen is Virtual Assassins are going to take that round 10 to 1. Very effective play there by Virtual Assassins. This is actually the first time I'm having the pleasure of casting a, a match by Virtual Assassins. Strong team. Strong team, I must say. All right. If I remember correctly, Virtual Assassins are... Uh, on the top, right? In the EU divisions of the other leagues, if I remember correctly. All right. So let us see here. I'm going to wait for the message from Slay for the pick for the next for the next round here. Her, her, her. All right. There we go. Yes. All right. Everything is set. We've got this. We've got the maps. Okay. Good. <coughs>
What can I say about that last round? What can I say is that Virtual Assassins, wow. Very strong play by them. They were shutting down every push by Downfall. Whichever route they took, Virtual Assassins were able to see it, were able to adapt to it, and were able to stop it. It's going to be interesting to see what the next map is going to be and how they fare, if they fare any differently. All right, while I wait for the word from Slay, I'm just going to put up some gameplay footage, okay? Because as we saw last, we, we had to wait a long time. So I'm just going to put up some gameplay footage, and once this action starts, we'll get into it. Let's go into the... Here we go. Raid coming out of CT spawn. Boar coming out of connector here. And J-Bar Boar are going to be taking over A-Site here. Except Andy Bojangles had something to say about it. And Boar was just trying to do the defuse. But Andy Bojangles cleaning up with that Tech 9. Corners here. Beautiful headshot there by ASD on Super Salad Grinder, but then Quimbercraft able to get Jess Jamie. It is 1v2 here, and Acenia is trapped in the corner. No, Acenia running out now. Not. Oh. What? Wait. What? Jess Jamie here? What? What? The knife throw from Acenia! Somebody clip that, please! Exclamation point clip! What did I just witness? And the headshot from Acenia taking down Quimbercraft for the win! What a play! chat whoever sees that please exclamation point clip we need that clip of that clip boar actually pulled it off y'all he did it in the smoke kiwi is making his way into the point so is scuba steve scuba steve's gonna start the plant here comes boar he's got the clippers is he? Where? he got the knife kill and then the clippers oh my gosh somebody when you see that, please somebody put exclamation point clip in the chat because that is amazing. I cannot believe he just did that. What a cheeky fellow boar. Getting the knife kill and then clipping the boards. B. Making a little bit of noise down the middle. Pulling out fire from just Jamie and Window. And everyone is now pushing B. Mike VR is already there. And you can see the movement by Narco S as they figure out what the hell is going on. Now Mike VR coming under fire. And getting taken down by all of the members of, of Solstice. Limit Break also tried to make a stand, but it was 3v1 again. And Steve taking out just Jamie. Skywalker stupidly pushing his position. But there you can see the nice shooting there by Julio. And that is a 3v1 situation. And Dead Pixel doing exactly that with a beautiful flank there. Kaze is back turned to Beast. Dead Pixel also has his back turned to Beast. Dead Pixel providing cover there, but Beast took down Kaze. Can he do it in time? Three seconds left. He, oh, no, no, he didn't do it. Oh, he almost had it. He almost had it. Wow, it came down to the wire there. My goodness, that was close. What a pistol down. Two numbers and to pick them apart. And now we see Skywalker here and Jeff Jamie watching the house as Scuba Steve tries to make it through here. A lot of free firing happening here. Oh no! No! <laughs> Somebody 
Somebody put exclamation point clip and clip that, please. Exclamation. Yes. Are they still going? Yes, they're still going. All right. Here we see Snoop and Aider. With a grenade, takes down Dead Pixel. A beautiful bank shot by Snoop and Aider. as they decide to go somewhere else. And here's the... All right, y'all. The next map is Dust 2. If you are still there and you are still hearing my voice, put in your prediction for who will take Dust 2. As we wait for this map to load... I see it. I see a lobby. Let's see if it's going to be populated by our teammates here. Our two teams. Virtual Assassins and Downfall. Will it be the game we are looking for? Nope. <laughs> uh, so obviously we are waiting for them to find a server that is good for both teams in terms of lag and whatnot. So that takes a little bit of re-rolling. So that's what's happening right now. Um, if you want to get those predictions in, you've got a little bit of time left. One minute and 30 seconds left on that prediction. And... All right. Yes, we're waiting for Dust2 to load up here. They almost had it. Almost. Alright, I'm gonna let you watch some more gameplay footage while we wait for that to go on. See you in a second. One member of, of, of Homeland left here. 
And in dead pixel on you is way out of position. And so all of the expendables are going to go into A site. Lizen Slander and an unnamed player moving into mid to watch the approaches from B site. And Beast is going to plant the bomb. This is going to be another round win here for the expendables. So needs to be thinking about what he wants to do here. Does he want to push? Oh, that grenade by Snoopinator takes down License Slander. Oh, Snoopinator. <laughs> oh, hey, Stimpy. Stimpy can do it. Let's go, Stimpy. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna do this? Can he sneak out because Snoopinator just passed him? Oh my god. Down. If Boar can run through there and get We're the clip. No! <laughs> he got no, he didn't get any of the wires. <laughs> he, he tried it, but he didn't do it. Somebody please exclamation point clip that, because I want that clip. In the chat. Exclamation point clip. Is deciding to go to B site. The follow detonator as he leads this charge. It's murder. Everyone's gonna be exposed in the windows here. And a grenade takes it. down three. A knife takes go down crazy, the fourth. Berserker. That was, oh my it's god. Murder. Go crazy, berserker. I killed oh it. my god. It's murder. Go crazy, All right, y'all. That was some fun clips from the previous season as well as some of the previous pa playoff games that we saw. Well, at least the first round of playoffs that we saw that I got to cast. Those clips, by the way, if you see something crazy, I say it a lot in those clips, right? Hit exclamation point clip in the chat and you see how I can use those clips. I can make little playoff clip reels. We can make our hype videos. We can make our fun social media posts. So if you see something crazy, something cool, something funny, exclamation point clip in the chat will create a clip that we could then use for fun. And we are still waiting. We are still waiting for this to load us into Dust2 so we can watch this second game between Virtual Assassins and Downfall. And I'm seeing that none of you predicted anything. I don't know if you are all off getting a beer, getting coffee, getting a drink of some sort, a snack. But if you want me to run that prediction again, just let me know. I'll just close it off right now. You can bet your, your channel points, okay? I'm just going to put Virtual Assassins there, but... All right. Use your channel points to predict who will win the match. All right. And we are still waiting, y'all, for this to load. We are waiting for them to find a favorable server for both teams. And because our uh, our players today are spread out across the world, that can be difficult. So, while we wait, I'm going to play you some more advertisements. How about that?
All right. And those are our, our generous sponsors, Mammoth, who are giving for our first place winners of this tournament five Mammoth Apto 3 Wasps. That is a gun stock that I like to use for contractors. I know a lot of you playing Pavlov love that virtual stock. But hey, the Pavlov, I mean, the, the Mammoth Vapto 3 Wasp is also a great physical stock to be using in a game like Pavlov. But if you like using it in other games, onward, contractors, whatever you like, it's a great uh, piece of kit to have. For our second place winners, we got Bubble VR head straps, but also five of those gift boxes from G Fuel. So we're thankful for G Fuel for providing us those prizes as well. And Bobo VR, of course, thank you for your prizes. And of course, the third place guys are getting these nine line apparel jerseys and degenerate decals for their headsets. And that final is going to be happening next week between Solstice and whoever wins this match between Virtual Assassins and Downfall. And we are looking at our second round here. If it ever loads, we are waiting for this server to load us in. We have been waiting for quite some time here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pavlov servers, y'all. I guess I can take this time to remind you of our Vertex Stadium event for our Echo Arena Finals. We have partnered with Vertex Stadium to host our Echo Arena Finals in the Vertex Stadium. It is a crazy spirit. It is a crazy experience. If you want to see what virtual esports can look like, where you as an avatar go into an arena and watch the esport that you love to watch happen, right? You're not watching the, the dudes at the computer. You're not watching the guys in their headsets in front of you or the ladies in, in front of you playing. You're watching their avatars in the game, fighting it out in the game. I'm going to show you their trailer and then hopefully by then this uh, server will have connected. Where are you? Here we go. As you saw there, Vertex Arena, pretty cool place to go and check out. Right now, you have to have an Oculus device to use it. Uh, you got to use your Quest with Quest Link or with your Rift, Rift S. Or you can do it in desktop mode if you don't have either of those things. Check it out. We're going to be doing our event on the 28th, which is next Saturday, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be hosting our finals for our NA and OCE, I think divisions for echo and again i told you if you're not an echo fan if you don't care about echo arena i mean it's just cool to watch it's cool to check it out so check it out vertex uh, vertexstadium.com join the discord join the beta testing program and we'll see you in there if you join us and i don't know what in the world is happening right now as we wait for this to load Slay tells me that they are still loading. So we shall wait. We shall wait and wait. Man, we are getting an hour into this match and we have only watched one round. And I'm out of things to show you. 
I don't know if you want to watch those uh, clips again for the third time. <laughs> uh, all right. Just looking to see if there are any more messages. Still waiting. Uh, <laughs> Stats of the teams, says winner 287. Let us see. So, in our last season, we had 10 teams, right? And uh, downfall, I mean, Virtual Assassins uh, ended that season as the number two team with uh, 1,604 points, MMR points. And downfall was the third team, third place team with 1,589 points in the MMR there. So we are seeing the number two team take on the number three team in this match. Wait, do I have a message? They're in. Here we go. Let's go. Ugh. All right, we're waiting for that now to load up. Here we go. I want to see that they're in the in the match and that they're staying with this lobby. All right. Sometimes they load up, sometimes they load out. Yes. Okay. Here we go. As we are in Dust Two, and what do we got? We got Echo and Nuki hanging out there in CT spawn. Wait, where am I looking at? What am I looking at? Oh, I've got I got turned around here. Echo and Nuki hanging out in, in suicide there. Dawn over there just watching suicide. Comet looking making his way down to Yellow Hat and Slay Exodus at B site. And Mime Kraken Krieger and Explosion watching A. Meanwhile, Ninja Kex is dead. I don't know why. I missed it. And here comes the push in A short from Nuki, Comet, and Dawn. Kraken Krieger moving his way into CT spawn there. Does not know that he's got three members of, um, of Virtual Assassins making their way on Cat now. As Explosion is on the site. Mime and Explosion go down. And here is someone at Goose. No, there was I thought there was someone at Goose there. But nope. It is Nuki and Dawn and they have planted the bomb. Here comes Kraken Krieger from CT spawn. Kraken is trying to get an angle there, but it was a 2v1 there, and Nuki and Dom were able to take him down, and in the same time, Echo took down Slay Exodus. And so that is going to be a round win there for... for... Ninja, Virtual Assassins, as Virtual Assassins are on the attack here. Let's see which route they decide to go here out of C-Spawn. We've got... Four going towards B, Dawn with the bomb. Deciding on what he wants to buy, and there they go, off to B site. And it is Slay Exodus and Yellow Hat. Out go the flashes as as Echo pushes out of tunnels here. And it is Slay Exodus who's going to get him. But then Ninja Kex overruns and come. <laughs> no. No, that was unfortunate there. As we see, as we see the push. By virtual assassins crumble after Comet shot his friend in the head there. And the bullets were coming straight into that position and took the rest out as they came out of cover. And so for, so Downfall are going to take that round. 
Here are those kills right now. Yellow Hat, three and one for downfall. Dawn, two and one for... Uh, oh, wow. Yellow Hat getting the, the kill through suicide. Wow. You see there, Yellow Hat putting more rounds down range. All the way from here, through that door. You're getting, getting Nuki as well. So that is two picks right there. Taking Virtual Assassins down to three members very early on in this round. Yellow Hat proving very effective at getting kills from across the map. And there Yellow Hat also taking down Ninja Kex. Yellow Hat right now on a... Four. On a streak, Explosion gets Dawn. And Comet finally stops Yellow Hat. And it is Comet all alone now. This is the four members of downfall and explosion comes around and takes him from the side Andy bojangles this is the second map this is not the third map and so the ra the score for uh, the first map which was manor was 10 and 1 for virtual assassins this is the second map to be played so far and we are now at 2 and 1 for downfall downfall now looking to flip the script and there again you see yellow hat exchanging fire with comet as Echo and Nuki push to B, Dawn also getting into A short there, throwing some fire towards double doors. And out go the frags, but no one is there to be blowed up by them. Echo hanging out in tunnels, Nuki also hanging out. And Dawn and Ninja Kex looking maybe to push A site, as here comes Explosion. And Dawn trying to take advantage of that push, but Explosion was ready for him. And able to stop him as Nuki and Echo rotating back towards Suicide. And maybe a push to A site as Comet is hanging out back there. Ninja Kex did push to A long, but he was stopped by Mime. And now we see Explosion and Kraken Krieger pushing up Cat. And Nuki able to take down both Explosion and Kraken Krieger after his teammate fell. And so Echo and Nuki still alive here, and we are going into a mid-game situation with Yellow Hat and his legs. So just watching the double doors, watching CT spawn. Echo trying to peek a little bit here, but Yellow Hat. Slay Exodus instead takes down Nuki. All the way at Cat. At A short, excuse me. And then now it's Echo versus Yellow Hat and Slay. Yellow Hat waiting patiently at CT spawn for Echo to do exactly what he's doing right now. But no, he decides to go back towards Suicide. And pick some stuff up here. He's getting some guns. Okay, and that decided to just fire uncontrollably for Echo here to just give his position away. And he is going to hide in tunnels. Slay Exodus, Yellow Hat moving towards B site. To one second left, it is over, folks. And that is another win there. That is a win there for... Uh, um, for Downfall. Yellow Hat on top for downfall 6 and 2, 16. Very effective at those long range engagements through through suicide here. You see Yellow Hat again in that position, Slay moving his way to B site. And Yellow Hat immediately taking Comet with a headshot. Suicide living up to its name right there. And now Don and Ninja Kex looking to poke through A long while Echo and Nuki rotating through tunnel into suicide. Are they going to break out through the Double Doors explosion here at A short? Throwing a frag down into those tunnels. And so does Yellow Hat. Nuki at half health. Echo luckily saved by that frag. There's a flash. And so Echo and Nuki are pinned right here. And are getting surrounded. Echo able to shoot through and get Yellow Hat. And that's going to allow Don and Ninja Kex to rotate into A short. Let's follow Don as he pushes here to Cat. Explosion is here. Don is going to survive that. And so Kraken Krieger poking out the frag. Mime finishing him off from Car. And now Echo here with Ninja Kex versus Kraken and Mime at A site. They need to push. They have 40 seconds left. Slay Exodus slowly rotating around. And it is quiet right now as it is a stalemate. 25 seconds left in the round. Echo and Ninja Kex not deciding to push.
everyone sitting in their positions right now as we wait for the timer to tick down here. They are just going to save their money, save their weapons. And this is going to be another win for downfall here. And there you have it. Yellow hat, seven and three, 18 points for downfall. Explosion, second place, five and three, 13 points. Mime, three and two, seven points. Nuki, three and four. Dawn, three and four. And Echo, three and two for virtual assassins. So we are seeing a very different match here as Yellow hat is picking virtual assassins apart and stopping their aggression. And here comes the push to B site here. Slay Exodus there, trying to get the shots and the grenades. And here comes Yellow Hat. Able to pin Nuki and Ninja Kex here at this car. Dawn getting through Slay Exodus and planting the bomb. And here come Downfall. Dawn trying to get the upper hand there, but not quite able to do it. Mime taking him down, Ninja Kex and Nuki. Wow, three kills for Ninja Kex right there as Comet rotates through. And now it is three to one at four ex and explosion is all alone. And there we go. Hudson maps one was score was 10 to one virtual assassins. Thank you, Black Cat for that. That flash right in Nuki's face, but Ninja Kex was around the corner. Explosion pushed and was taken down. Beautifully placed grenade there by Explosion, but he did not know that Ninja Kex was waiting around the corner. Hello, Xander VR9. Good to see ya. Black Hat says they struggled on the EU server. I can imagine what we saw last round was a was the effect of lag and uh, latency and all that good stuff. Meanwhile, Yellow Hat getting comment one more time through suicide. And there goes Yellow Hat to slay Exodus pushing right to B site. As they know that down, uh, that virtual assassins might be pushing there. Yes, Yellow Hat is also not quite committing yet, but can look through those doors. And look at those shots he's putting on the doors at the entrance of the tunnel. And as virtual assassins push out, they are under heavy fire. Yellow Hat with the frag grenade takes down Echo. Yellow Hat pushing into the B site here. Gonna kissy Nuki and take down Nuki. Dawn gets the refrag. But now Dawn is all alone versus four members of Downfall and Explosion rotating through tunnels is going to take him down as he tries to retreat back towards T-Spawn. And now it is five to two for Downfall. As we see, are seeing a very different match right now. I want to see again if Comet is going to hang out at Suicide. There he goes. Yes, Comet, you might be taking a little bit of a different route, but Yellow Hat has already pushed up here. And the frag almost taking down Comet there. And the push to B site. Yellow Hat here to take down Ninja Kex. Nuki in the door. Get taken down by Yellow Hat. Echo able to get the frag on Yellow Hat, but then Kraken Krieger was there for refrag. And it is 2v3, I mean 1v3 right here, Comet, all by his lonesome and with about 10% health, maybe 20% health. As we see Mime pick up all the clippers. Mime has all the clippers. And we see Downfall taking another win there, 6-2 to two right now for Downfall. But while we did see Comet take another route, his yellow hat decided he was going to push through suicide anyways. And here comes yellow hat again. You can see him there through the double doors. Is he going to push? Looking to get that long shot slay crossing for B. And here comes virtual assassins. Nuki and Echo looking to go a long. Ninja Kex comment and done. Waiting for yellow hat to come up that ramp, I think. They are playing it slow right now. Let's get over to this side of the doors as Nuki and Echo push through A long. 
There's no one here waiting for them. Kraken Krieger waiting just below the site. And we've got Mime at car. What is that? That is a smoke grenade. Yuki and Mime. Kraken Krieger stopping Nuki in his tracks here. And Kraken Krieger takes down Nuki. That's going to be a 3 and 3 versus 3 right now. Oh, as Slay Exodus takes down Comet. Dawn takes down Slay Exodus. Now it is 1v1 after all of that. And you can see Dawn there in the middle of the map moving towards B site. Kraken Krieger hanging out at A site. Does Dawn have the bomb? I think he's making the moves as he does. Yes. Yes. No. Yes, he does. And so he has time to plant here. And that's going to force Kraken Krieger to push through. Now what angle is Don going to show? He throws the flash. And takes down Kraken Krieger as he comes down through the doors. And that is going to be a win there for Virtual Assassins. So some slower play by Virtual Assassins worked out a little bit better. Allowed for some skirmishes. Allowed for some kills. And in the end, it was a 1v1 situation that worked in Virtual Assassin's favor. As Dawn was able to pick up the bomb and move to the site opposite of where uh, Kraken Krieger was. And there's the push to B site now. Nuki getting set up at the front door. Throwing in a frag. That's going to do a little bit of damage to Kraken there. Here comes Downfall into a, a hail of bullets. And Downfall's push is going to be stopped right there as Yellow Hat retreats with Explosion through tunnels. Right now it is Explosion and Yellow Hat versus Nuki, Echo, and Ninja Kex. They are rotating here into Suicide. Are they going to come through the double doors? Explosion is pinned. Yellow Hat pulling out. Able to get the shot there and going up the, the boost there. Off they go to Cat. And it is a race to A-Site right now as Echo pushes through CT spawn, looking up to Cat. Does he see Explosion? Yes, he does! But Yellow Hat is there for the refrag. Now he's going to pick up the bomb and run for that plant. Here comes Ninja Kex. Code is in. Bomb is planted. Ninja Kex. They are surrounding him right now. Oh, my old plant! What a headshot by Yellow Hat there. And yes, he gets the flank on Nuki as well for the win. Beautiful play by Yellow Hat. Exclamation point clip, please. That was a beautiful play. Somebody clip that. As Downfall are taking control this round. 7-3 to three right now. Yellow Hat on top, 18-7. and seven. Explosion, 7-6. Seven and six. Slay Exodus, 5-6. and six. Nuki, 7-8. and eight. And Dawn, 8-8. Eight and eight For Virtual Assassins, as we see now the push by Downfall towards A site. Or are they going to rotate here? What's going to happen? We got Mime and Slay Exodus going. Two, A long, explosion, Kraken Krieger going, yellow, yellow Hat, A short, Mime pushing out and getting Dawn, getting Echo as well. And, oh my goodness. Ninja Kex is alone, he's surrounded. Here comes explosion, Yellow Hat, and Kraken Krieger on his position. And that beautiful pincer right there is going to show you what downfall is all about right now. Beautifully coordinated, all five members alive on the point. The bomb is planted, now it is Common and Nuki all alone to try and push this in Yellow Hat. And oh my god, the firing squad of Downfall executing the rest of Virtual Assassins. <laughs> oh, wow. Somebody clip that as well, please. No, no one clipping things. Okay, fine. What a difference we are seeing here in this match between Downfall and Virtual Assassins. Now we see the push again towards A. Explosion going down into Suicide. Throwing out frag grenades and flashes. Kraken Krieger going A short. And Dawn and Echo have pushed Cat. Let's see if they can see Kraken Krieger. Kraken takes down one, but Echo gets the refrag. In the meantime, Slay and Mime are going to continue to push A long and take down Ninja Kex off the site. Comet going to push through CT spawn here. Is he going to catch? Yes, he does see Slay Exodus. Echo rotating back towards Cat.
Here comes Yellow Hat to reinforce. Out goes the smoke grenade to, to let him cross. And here comes Explosion. From above, takes down Comet. Yellow Hat very quickly and efficiently gets through there and plants the bomb. Mine blind firing through CT spawn, trying to get Nuki there, but Nuki, yes, re-engage is re-peeking. And all of that re-peeking and shooting and re-peeking allowed Explosion to rotate and flank through Suicide and take him down. Wow, that play by, by Yellow Hat. Putting the smoke down, crossing across car, getting up there, planting that bomb. As Echo... I think that was... No, as... Uh, who was that? That was Explosion? That got through Cat and just was able to stop Echo coming from CT spawn. Beautiful play by Downfall. And here we go into the next round. Explosion gets taken by my Comet. And Comet... And Echo have pushed up through Suicide here. And they are deciding to get into Downfall's face. And though it is Downfall that is going to win that engagement. As we see more and more kills. And Yellow Hat is going to take down Dawn as well. So right there, the brawl. Blow for blow. And it is Yellow Hat and Kraken Krieger who are going to survive it. And there you see the push to A Long and... Ninja Kex is hanging out at Goose all alone. Ninja Kex able to put some shots down A long, but not able to stop the advance from Yellow Hat. And so Yellow Hat is getting closer and closer, throwing the frag grenade, and finally getting the kill to finish it off. And there you have it, folks. 21 and 7 is the ending KD for Yellow Hat there. And Yellow Hat proving instrumental in that victory. That was wow. That was a decisive victory for Downfall. Here we go. This just got very interesting. What is going on? Gherkin1981, thank you for the follow. My goodness. A very very different round from the last one my pleasure common killer my pleasure uh okay i have to um just regroup from what i just saw slay uh, uh yellow hat yellow hat taking the lead there for downfall and well I know Yellow Hat is part of was part of another team called Vortex, and Vortex were a formidable force, and we can see why with members like Yellow Hat. And so Downfall able to win that map. And we are now on to the third map. Hopefully we don't have to wait forever for this one to load. We shall see. Okay, let me just check in my messages here, making sure everything's square. What are y'all thinking about the match so far? I saw uh, one person saying that um, the last, the first round was being played on the EVE server, and so Downfall was having a hard time with that. And if that is true, when we, if we were on an NA server this time around, we saw the difference. It was huge. But I mean, Yellow Hat, just being able to shoot through through uh, suicide the way he did and able to get those kick those picks on Comet right time and time again and he got a lot of kills from there as we saw in his ending KD but great coordination also by the rest of the team on those pushes when they were on the attack beautiful play by downfall GG mime welcome to the stream Mime says you were switched out. All right, Mime, chill out. Well played, Mime. Hang out on the bench. Watch the stream with us. Hope you have a beverage or a snack to 
to eat or drink as we wait and see what the next map is going to be. As this game has just become very exciting as we are now in a two as a one one a one one tie between virtual assassins and downfall we are going to play the third map and see who will win the semifinals match and go on to take solstice in the pot in the finals next week so the virtual assassins get to pick the next map we're going to see what happens as they choose Mime is eating pretzels and pop. That's a good combination. A little salty, a little sweet. Wow. <coughs> yeah, we're getting to five o'clock right now, Eastern time. Jeff Rocks VR says God's greatest bench warmer. Derp Cat does stuff says love yellow hat. He's such a Chad. All right. Good to see the love for the players. We saw earlier people talking about Slay Exodus was their crush, but yeah, yellow hat, strong, strong player indeed. We saw yellow hat win Veil. That was pretty awesome. As I wait. <clears throat> Pardon me. Ravity68, thank you so much for that follow. The music makes you want to kick a baby. Please don't do that, Derp Cat does stuff. I'm sorry if you don't like the music choice, but don't kick any babies, please. <laughs> don't do that. No baby kicking. Oh, man. Mime. You got some good shots in there. Although, uh, people haven't been clipping things. So, you know, if you're in the chat, one more time, exclamation point clip to make some cool clips for Mime to watch later. We shall see what the third round map shall be. Virtual Assassins have the choice. And man, it is getting late for the Virtual Assassins right now. I know they are an EU team. And we are UTC minus 5, so it is getting to be 10 p.m. UTC. And if they are in C U C if you are in CEST, that means you are at 11 p.m. about now. Thank you Derp du Derp Cat does stuff for that follow as well. We appreciate your support. It's not Bimo is asking, how does it feel to spend more time waiting than casting? Well, it is a unique experience. I am used to uh, casting contractors more often than, than Pavlov. And so I am not used to having to sit here and keep you all company as we wait 20 minutes for a map to load. I have prepared some things for you to watch, but we've watched them five times now. So as we wait, I'm going to let you watch some more. Here are some uh, promotions from a couple of our sponsors.
right, there were some quick advertisements there for a couple of our sponsors. Mammoth VR is providing us with our first place prizes for this tournament. They are five Mammoth Apto 3 Wasps. Those gun stocks you saw in that ad are pretty awesome. Uh, customizable, lightweight, very sturdy for all your shooting needs. If, let's say, you like to use a physical stock. I know Pavlov players like to use that virtual stock, but I myself, I'm, I'm partial to the physical stock. I have one of those Mammoth Apto 3 Wasps myself, and I use it all the time with my index. Slay has told me the next map shall be Oil Rig. All right. So let me just put up a prediction here because we are 50-50 right now for these two guys. So let's do a prediction, shall we? You can put up some of your channel points to predict who will win Oil Rig. Will it be? Virtual Assassins. Will it be Downfall? There you go. Let's put in those predictions there. Derp Cat does stuff. I don't know uh, uh, what Pavlov Academy is. Do you want to you tell us in chat what Pavlov Academy is? Or Ravity? Do you want to tell us what Pavlov Academy is? Because I don't know what that is. Derpcat does stuff. What team is the yellow head on? He is playing for Downfall right now. Gravity64 says, Oil Rig W map. I think that's good. Not down with that lingo, so I'm guessing W means good. Win? W for win? I think so. Derp is in charge of it. So tell us, Derp. What is Pavlov Academy? Tell us all about it, please. <clears throat> I'm not seeing any, any messages from Slay, so I'm assuming now that they've chosen the map, they are waiting for it to load. Getting that refresh going on. Oh, derp. Are you there, derp? W means that it's really good or just good in general. All right. Hudson says, all in for downfall. Oh, that's awesome, dirt cap. Derp Cat does stuff. So Pavlov Academy is a place dedicated to giving players who are new to the league scene a chance to learn how to play and get competitive. And they get instructor instructions from many different players from PCL, even Yellow Hat. That's awesome. That's awesome to have that resource for the community to get people into the comp side. Because I know games that can have a steep um, learning curve or let's say a steep, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Skill curve. Right? It's hard for people to get into the game sometimes, so it's great to have people in the community willing to help people get into it, willing to help people get good, and get into that comp scene. That is awesome, Derp Cat does stuff. Mime is back in! Mime does not get to rest! Alright, we're waiting for Oil Rig to load up. <clears throat> And while we wait, I'll just make you watch more gameplay. Watch the same clips again. Because who knows how long this is going to take. Alright, chill out, folks. Here we go. Raid coming out of CT spawn. Boar coming out of connector here. And J-Bar Boar are going to be taking over A-Site here. Except Andy Bojangles had something to say about it. 
Four was just trying to do the defuse, but Andy Bojangle is cleaning up with that Tech 9. Corners here. Beautiful headshot oh, there by Ace Kill. Yeah. Super Solid Grinder, but then Cooper Crack able to get Jess Jamie. It is 1v2 here, and Ace Kill is trapped in the corner. No, Ace Kill running out now. Not both. What? What? Jess Jamie? What? The knife throw from Ace Kill! chat whoever sees that please exclamation point clip we need that clip of that clip Boar actually pulled it off y'all he did it he's he making his way into the point so is Scuba Steve Scuba Steve's gonna start to plant here comes Boar he's got the clippers he, he got the knife kill and then the clippers oh my gosh somebody when you see that please somebody put exclamation point doing exactly that with a beautiful flank there because they is back turned to beast dead pixel also has his back turned to beast dead pixel providing cover there but beast took down kaze can he do it in time three seconds left he, oh no he didn't do it oh he almost had it he almost had it just wow, it came down to the wire there. Every time we My goodness, that was close. A Little pistol round. Numbers and two picking apart. Now we see Skywalker here and Just Amy watching the house as Scuba Steve tries to make it through here. Yes, they're still going. All right. Here we see Snoopinator. With a grenade, takes down Dead Pixel. A beautiful bank shot by Snoopinator. Magic Lean is going to be 1v1 here on the point. Magic Lean not in a good position. He has to come around this corner so here. Small, that dead pixel can hold this angle on the bomb. Here comes the push by Magic Gleam. And the headshot. And we see a repeat. Open up your eyes. And not, not a whole lot of time for Magic Gleam to go shopping. So you can see but just enough time for him to punch the curve. And he can use that bomb. <laughs> and there it is. Pick it up, pick it up. Got a frag in one hand. AK in the other. Yeah. <laughs> 
become the expendables to the stairs. Able to see Neo before he was able to shoot all of them. But Neo is definitely going to call out the position of all three members of Expendables as they decide to go somewhere else. And here's the push from Expendables out of the house. That is it. One member of, of, of Homeland left here. And it is Dead Pixel, and he is way out of position. And so all of the Expendables are going to go into A site. Lies and Schlander and the unnamed player moving into mid to watch the approaches from B site. And Beast is going to plant the bomb. This is going to be another round in here for the Expendables. Get down to the, to the B side. Wow, just some of the crazy gameplay we saw this season one of Pavlov VR here at VRL. Whoop. Excuse me, I was having a snack there. We are super excited to be able to provide our Pavlov community with this tournament and with this league. And season one, I think, has been a success. We are hoping to get, obviously, more teams for season two. So if you know anybody out there in the Pavlov community that wants to get into VREL, please tell them if you've had a good time so they come and join us so we have more teams to play with next season. And by the way, if you know someone out there who's good at casting and wants to cast some of these matches, please have them get in touch with me so we can get them set up to cast more matches next season. All right? I'm not going to make you pass a test or anything. Well, you got to at least know how to work Pav TV. You got to have a face. You have a face, right? I think you do. And you got to cast. That's all we need to do. If you're out there, if you like to cast, if you want to cast for us, it would be a great help to myself and the rest of us here at VREL to get some of these matches covered next season. And I'm, of course, here for the playoffs. And I was able to catch some of the matches in the play in the season, but it would be nice to have more casters, right? 
All right, that's my spiel about casting and casters. We are still waiting for this server. My goodness. The wait, the wait time. <clears throat> Hudson says he's going to be coach. Are you going to join up the academy? That sounds like a really cool, a really cool program, I must say. Gravity and Derp Cat does stuff. Good on you for running that program and bringing people into the Pavlov community and getting them trained and ready to fight. I can tell you, nothing could be more frustrating than being a newbie at a game that people have been playing thousands of hours in and just trying to find your footing and learn how to play the game. You have to get used to losing a little bit. All right. I am watching for messages from Slay. We are still waiting for this server as we try to get into oil rig. My goodness, we have been waiting a long time. <laughs> All right. I'm just asking Slave for an update here. Still waiting, says Slay Exodus with the sobbing emoji. My goodness. This is pretty silly. Wait, I see an oil rig server up. Is it the right one? Let's wait and see. Let's cross our fingers. Let's cross our fingers that we'll see the that I will see the the, the avatars. Nope. Nope. It's shut down already. <laughs> My goodness. Well, how are y'all doing for this Sunday afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are? Maybe it's Monday morning for you. It's getting to be Monday morning for our EU players. Gravity says, geez, these servers. Yes, these servers indeed. I'm caught up with the all follows and such. All right, all right. Still waiting, says Slay. Servers today are weird. Is this worse than usual, Ravity? I mean, it definitely is unfortunate when we're playing these online games. We're kind of at the mercy of the performance of the servers. Thank you, Derpcat does stuff. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate that. And we wait, we wait, and we wait. Ugh. Gravity, I am excited to be casting these matches. Yellow Hat is actually going to be training people after this. That is dedication from Yellow Hat. That is awesome to hear. And Gravity says this is way worse. Usually it's way better. Well, I remember. I have not... This has been the longest I have had to wait so far to cast one of these matches. For sure. I don't remember if I was when I was playing Pavlov if I ever experienced having to wait this long. I think usually back then when you're you know hopping into pubs, if the server took too long to load, you just hop into another lobby, right? So it's it's a different thing when you're in a comp lobby and you have to be you have to wait for these servers. Man. Oh, 
All right, I'm going to take this opportunity to remind you one more time, if you haven't heard this already, we are hosting our Echo Finals in the Vertex Stadium. And you're like, Nutmeg, this is a, a Pavlov game. Why are you talking about Echo Arena? Well, let me tell you, Vertex Stadium is itself something cool to experience. Even if you aren't an Echo Arena player, let me show you the trailer and you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so Vertex Stadium, as you saw there, it is a literal virtual stadium. And what they have been able to do is take the Echo Arena and put it into their stadium. Yes, Derp Cat, that is available for Quest 2. I, I'm, uh, what I'm saying right now is that we are going to be holding our Echo Arena finals in that stadium, Jan 28th, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. Go to vertexstadium.com. Join their beta testing program and you too can participate in this. It's pretty crazy. If you don't, even if you don't like Echo Arena, just being in that stadium is crazy because it's like you're in a basketball arena or a hockey arena and you're watching an esport being played right in front of you. All right, so January 28th, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. Check it out. Vertex, uh, vertexstadium.com. Hey, they're in. Let's go. Look for the announcements in our Discord about it. There's information there, and also in our esports report on our YouTube channel. I talked about it there. But you gotta uh, down. You gotta get into the beta testing program, and you can use your Quest or you can use any other Oculus device. All right, let's get into it. We are going. What's going on? It's the pistol round. We're at B site. Ninja, Ninja Kex and Echo trying to defend B site from Yellow Hat and Slay as they push through here. And there, Echo able to get down. Oh, Slay or, or, or Yellow Hat not able to plant the bomb and then turn just in time for Echo. Echo was fast enough and got on that corner and got the headshot on Yellow Hat. So, this is going to be a win for virtual assassins in this first round here. And we are off to the races, y'all. After the wait, we are here in Oil Rig. And let's see if there were any um, um, roster changes. We got winner in here for uh, Downfall. And for Virtual Assassins, it is the same lineup. All right, let's go. Let's follow Downfall as they push out of T-Spawn here. Yellow Hat, Mine, and Winner, and Slay Exodus all going towards B. You can see here Winner, Mine, Yellow Hat deciding to kick back a little bit and watch here. Instead of pushing all the way yet, there they go through Garage, Slay Exodus going long B. And Explosion, not yet choosing a dis uh, 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 an approach yet. Maybe going into Corridor. Yes, he's going to get Comet. As here's the push here by Downfall into B-Site. Out they come. There's no one here. Ninja Kex. 
trying to prevent the push but the bomb is planted as Don goes down to winner echo is also there mime able to take down ninja kex and so downfall are holding this point right now actually the bomb plant There, the firefight goes, and Mime and Yellow Hat able to take down Nuki and Echo at the same time to stop that push as they try to get to the bomb site, and that is going to tie this up already. Mime 3 and 1 on top 4, downfall right now. Echo on top for Virtual Assassins 3 and 1, 10 points. And there is Comet 2 and 1 and Winner 2 and 1, both in second place for Virtual Assassins and downfall, respectively. And here we go. We see downfall now going towards the middle as Ninja Kex goes towards Oil Room. I'm sorry, I'm watching, um, wow. All right, so Virtual Assassins decided to push towards the attackers there, and a lot of them fell at the same time. And, okay, that is the end of that, folks. Um, all right. I got a little confused because I saw the one team rushing towards the other. I figured that was the attacking side, but no, I had it backwards. It was defending time. It was the defending team that was attacking the attacking team. And that push did not work out well for the Virtual Assassins there, as we saw Downfall take them all down. Let's get on to the side of Downfall here as we see which way they go. Mime going towards A long, Slay Exodus following. Meanwhile, Yellow had the explosion, making a little bit of noise in mid, but then not committing to that. And instead going to reinforce the push on A long here, as we see them collecting on this corner. And Comet, Dawn, Ninja Kicks rotating towards A site. Was there maybe some noise? I mean, towards B site, excuse me. Maybe there was some noise there to make them push that direction. Dawn is alone at A site here as Yellow Hat Mime and Slay Exodus make their way down A long winner going towards underpass. And Dawn is about to be in trouble here. Here comes Comet to reinforce. Let's follow winner. I want to see who he takes here. Can he catch Dawn by surprise here from the lower level? You know, he sees Comet. Nice grenade throw there. Flash. And a frag as well. And Winner does take Comet with the frag grenade there. As the bomb is being planted at A site. There you see. Winner, Yellow Hat, Slay. All on the site. Explosion. Where is Explosion coming from? Oh, Explosion now hiding. Here comes Echo. Nope, everyone is holding their positions right now. No one's pushing the site. Winner and Slay Exodus well positioned. Yellow hat on top. And off go downfall from the site. And Ninja Kex is just gonna hang out and let the bomb go, I think. That's right. So Ninja Kex and Echo deciding to save some money, save their weapons. And off we go. 3 to 1 right now for Downfall. As Winner is on top 7 and 1 for Downfall. Let's follow this next push. Someone just threw a knife out here for whatever reason. All right, there they go. They are pushing B. Here come Echo Comet and Ninja Kex to meet it. Out go the frags. Where is that happening? Ninja Kex able to stop Slay Exodus at B long, but this is the push from Garage by Mime Winner and Yellow Hat that's going to take down Nuki. And so Ninja Kex is waiting for this to happen here. And no, they're pushing back. I think they are rotating to B long. Yes, they are. Mime watching the flank there. That has gotten really quiet all of a sudden. It is a 3v3 right now. Dawn is over at A site. Comet in the middle. And Ninja Kex alone here by this tank. Out goes the frag. Ooh, they did not get to the right place there. But Ninja Kex has an idea of what's going on. That frag is going to do some damage there. And a third. A flash, excuse me. As Comet pushes and catches Yellow Hat there by surprise. And now the fight no is going to go into the middle. Back towards T-Spawn. 
And no, Comet with a flank was able to pick off the rest of Downfall and stop that push. So the stall there allowed for the repositioning from Virtual Assassins. And they were able to find a good position to stop the approach of Downfall and take the win. Can they tie it up here? So Azuma is asking scores in the previous map. First map was Manor. Virtual Assassins took it 10 to 1. Second map was Dust 2. And Downfall took that 10 to 3. And so here we are at Oil Rig. And here we are at Ong A with Slay Exodus, Yellow Hat, and Mime. With Dawn on the defense, all by his lonesome. Here comes Echo to rotate into A site. As Nuki takes off, takes explosion. I didn't see where that was happening, but the push right now is at A. 3v4 right now. Ninja Kex rotating back here through Pop Flash. And downfall not exactly committing yet to that push to A site. What are they trying to do here? They're trying to reposition here and maybe figure out what the other team might be doing. No, here comes the push to A site. Let's see here. We've got Dawn here in the corner. Well positioned to see that approach. Also Echo in a good position to see them coming around this corner here. So here comes the push. Flashes. Slay managed to get into the, onto the floor there and Mime finishing off Echo. So a lot of damage done by that push. Mime planting the bomb. Ninja Kex trying to hoof it here. That flash was well positioned there, but not well timed for Mime. Mime knows where to be looking right now. And Mime there, you can see, getting into a more defensive position. And no, Ninja Kex able to catch his face. And with plenty of time here, Ninja Kex is going to be putting here the code to defuse this bomb and tie this up. And there it is. And Hudson saying in the chat, Danfall just needs to full send on them. Only way to win. It does seem like the aggression works better for Downfall. As we saw just now, if they stall at any point and they give Virtual Assassins the ability to reposition, things don't go really well for Downfall. So let's see if they will push. They need to commit to a push. And there it goes, the push to B. Or not. Again, they are stalling. In the meantime, Echo and Ninja Kex have put positioned themselves on B site here. And there's Nuki taking down Explosion again from the middle. And here comes the push by Downfall into B site, but Ninja Kex and Echo are ready. Slay and Yellow Hat hesitating. There's the smoke. There's the flashes. And here's the push. A lot of flashes going off. There's another one. That one's too long. That frag was too far and Echo's gonna push here. Echo might be flashed, but the members of Downfall are still not pushing. And just as they pushed, they were surrounded. Ninja Kex, Echo, Comet, all shooting from three sides here. And the frag from Winter takes Ninja Kex out. But Comet is also waiting for it. There's a smoke. There's another smoke. Here's the push. And a frag from, uh, sorry, flash from Slay is going to hopefully allow him to push. Winner is right in front of Comet. Comet does not know it. There, finally, Comet finds Winner. And Slay is getting out of dodge. And he's having some problems with his left hand. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that is unfortunate. Uh, I, I, they just ran out of time, I think. Yep, they ran out of time. So again, the hesitance from downfall is going to be their downfall. And we see it. The, the score is 9-4 and four for winner on the KDs. But Echo, 6-4. Comet 7 and 5 for Virtual Assassins, but we see 4 rounds to 3 right now for Virtual Assassins. Explosion once again going through the middle. And here's the push to B side here. Let's follow Explosion if he can make some headway here. This has proven to be pretty 
fatal for explosion in the past two rounds. Yuki is watching. In the meantime, the action is going down at B site. Again, the trio of Comet, Echo, and Ninja Kex are watching here. But Explosion was able to push through, finally. And here the push from Downfall is more successful, as we now have four versus two. And Yellow Hat is going to clean up Dawn as he comes out to push against the push. And finally, Downfall are going to find themselves a victory. It is four, v four to four now. And we saw the final aggression working out for Downfall there as they do the push this time to A-Site. Let's follow them as they go A-Long. It's Slay, Winner, Mame, Mime, and Yellow Hat all together here. Stacking on this corner. Yellow Hat getting Nuki. Yellow Hat also getting Dawn. And so it is the four members of Downfall making their way to A-Site. And I think Ninja Kex and Echo have an idea of what might be going on here. As Comet confirms with that view there across the platforms. And here comes Comet to stop the approach. Comet does take down Winner. Yellow Hat with the bomb. Crosses through and gets it in. Now those smokes are going to slow down the approach of Virtual Assassins as they try to push through here. Yellow Hat taking the angle here to shoot across. He's going to get Comet. He might get Echo as well. Yes, he does. Ninja Kex above. Ninja Kex with the falling, falling frag. But then the Slay Exodus was well positioned there to stop it. As we change sides now. And Downfall can go on the defensive on this next pixel round. Pistol round. Excuse me. Pixel round. Well executed there by Downfall. As Yellow Hat is on top for Downfall, 11 and 5, and here they are. Let's see which way they decide to go. Explosion going towards A Long as the rest go to B site. Mime, Winner. Winner on the site. Where does Yellow Hat want to go? And we see the push at A Long there. Four members of. No, it's five members of. Of Virtual Assassins with Echo on the bottom here. And Echo able to take down Mime. And Dawn with the plant. So now Danfall have to push. They are running out of time. Let's follow Winner. See if he can make some. Oh, I don't think he's going to get there in time. He tries to get Echo, but they trade. Time is running out here. Yellow and Yellow Hat and Slay are pushing this position. Dawn is well positioned. And oh, the double kills there. Dawn and Common each taking a headshot and stopping that push. And now we are at five to five. There you see those kills there. Yellow Hat racking them up. 12 and 6, 28 points. Common on top for kills. Four virtual assassins, 11 and 7, but it's Echo, 9 and 7 with the points. 27 points. As we see again the push to A site for Virtual Assassins. They were successful last round. They want to do it again. They need to get there quickly. Explosion is not yet in position. Oh, wait, nope, he's not there yet. And Yellow Hat is there. And here come Virtual Assassins. There's the flash. Yellow Hat getting the pick and also the intel. Slay getting another kill. And now Explosion. Can he start moving? Explosion with a knife. He was waiting. Now I see what he was waiting for. He got the knife kill. Yellow Hat is here. Dawn doesn't know it. And there is the pick for Yellow Hat easily. And there's Comet. As Winner finally. Explosion comes out of here. Oh, and it's a trade. And now it's Explosion's turn to defuse that bomb. He's going to go shopping first. Explosion does not have the clippers, but he's got time. And here we go. 
Does not fat finger that one and takes the win for downfall. Oh man, what a play there. I was underestimating what Explosion was doing waiting in that position and he got the knife kill for it. That's gonna ret, says Hudson. There you have it. All right, let's go see if they're gonna do it again, Virtual Assassins. That time the push to A site was not successful. So downfall being very compa uh, not compatible, adaptable, sorry. As we see the push here through Garage for Virtual Assassins. And they trade frags and flashes and smokes. And all of them are pushing out right now. Wow, winner. Able to sneak in there and get right in the faces of Don and Nuki. And that is that well played downfall for that one. And that is a quick win for downfall. Seven to five now. Downfall shifting the momentum here. So now, Virtual Assassins being stopped both in their push to A site and their push to B site. What will they choose? Again, the same aggression to B site. Can they get there fast enough? Winter Mime and Slay Exodus are already here and they are waiting for it. So here comes Common at a garage to see what is going on here at B site. And the grenade is going to find Dawn. Look at that. Dawn almost killed by that frag grenade. So is Nuki. And in go more frags and flashes. That was a lot of damage dealt there by that one grenade. And so, Virtual Assassins are limping. And they are limping away from A site. I mean, B site. Back to A site. As Dawn hands come at the bomb. Dawn is heavily damaged. And there is somebody waiting there. Dawn had a fr has, a, has his knife out. These two are stuck right now. And they are in a tough position. They need to move. And they need to get out of harm's way. Here comes Comet and Dawn. As what is going on? We see Downfall are rotating away from B site. Nuki gets the headshot on Mime there. And so that's going to keep the attention to A site. Here comes Winner. He knows the bomb is being planted now at B site. Finishes off Dawn. Comet gets the running plant. But Comet, Comet needs to stay alive and he did not. Now can Nuki get the flank in time? On Slay. No, he does not. And Yellow Hat has the Clippers. And that is going to be a win for Downfall. We are at 8 and 5 right now. Two more rounds for Downfall to win to take this match. Coming behind, coming from behind after Virtual Assassins took the first game 10 to 1. Downfall fought back on Dust 2, taking it 10 to 3. And now we are seeing them looking very nicely positioned to take this match if they win this map. There's Explosion in his position again. Let's see if he's doing it again. Let me see here. He's waiting. He's waiting. Comet and Echo are pushing B. Ninja Kex over there in the Garage. We've got Nuki and Don going A long. Winner able to get the pick off Comet there. That frag is not going to find anybody. Here comes Echo through B long. Is Winner going to throw a frag up there? No, he does not. Where are the rest of these people? We've got Nuki and Don still moving slowly down A-Long uh, a there, but uh, Mime, Slay, Exodus, and Yellow Hat well positioned to rotate to either site should the push happen there. As we see Exodus and Mime moving to reinforce Winner. But now Nuki and Don are pushing, and Echo and Ninja Kex are rotating towards A site. But you see now Mime and Yellow Hat and Slay Exodus, who were still well positioned there to get there quickly, are able to move in here. And Nuki is going to fall to Yellow Hat. And that was the bomb, I think. So now Ninja Kex needs to push in here and get the bomb. Or eliminate the rest of Downfall. That was a well-placed frag here, but Downfall has the upper hand. Winner is going to take Echo. Yes, and that is the win there for Downfall. And now we are down to 9-5. and five. Just one more round here for Downfall to take the semifinals match.
at the VREL Season 1 for Pavlov. Yellow Hat, 20 and 8. 50 points for Downfall. And here we go. Here it goes. VA Virtual Assassins for one last push to B site. Nuki and Echo trying to push down A long, B long, excuse me. There are a lot of members of Downfall already on the point. Their winner, Mime and Slay Exodus, are in a great position to stop this push. Both Echo and Nuki have been damaged here. They are now pushing out. And this push is looking pretty successful right now. The frag from Yellow Hat takes down Echo and out goes the bomb. Dawn is there. It is 2v1 right now. Dawn is alone. Here comes Mime. Dawn able to catch Mime. It is Dawn versus Explosion. Where is Explosion? Ooh. Yes, he catches Dawn by surprise there. And does he have the Clippers? No, he doesn't need to. Yes, he does. Double Clippers. There it is. And that is the win for Virtual... Uh, for, for, oh, oh, excuse me. For, for, that is the win for Downfall. Sorry, I misspoke there. Downfall! Are you gonna take it? Well, how about that, folks? Downfall are going to take this one. 10 to 5. Woo! Da okay, da 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 okay, da okay, doke, da okay, doke. Thank you for the follow, doki doke. All right, downfall are taking this one. Great plays there. Finally, the aggression. Finally, the uh, coordination for downfall is going to win it for them. GG WP, WP to everyone who played today. I'm talking about everyone from Solstice, everyone from the GDSH Appreciation Society, everyone from Downfall, everyone from Virtual Assassins. So what's gonna happen now? We are going to the finals. It's going to be Downfall versus Solstice for the big prizes. They're gonna be playing for that Mammon Aptor 3 Wasp. They're gonna be playing for those Bobo VR head straps in the G Fuel gift boxes. And then of course the third place match will be decided as well for the jerseys and for our decals the de from the generate decals for the headsets. Woo! That was a long day. That was an exciting day of matches. I want to thank every one of the teams who joined us for Season 1 Pavlov here at VREL. Thank you for joining us and competing with us. And we have had a great time watching these matches, the ones that I was able to cast. Thank you to our sponsors who are providing us with those privates I just talked about. And thank you for everyone joining these casts today, making it exciting, getting the hype in the chat, and showing your support for these teams today. We will be seeing you next week for the finals and the third place match. I'm Nutmeg, casting these matches for VREL. I'll see you later.